The young Soviet state needed its own powerful artillery system, capable of effectively reasoning any aggressor from closed positions. Work on the new gun began as early as 1926. In 1931 a prototype was built. After testing, the 203mm howitzer of 1931, or simply B-4, was put into production. This gun received its baptism of fire during the Finnish War. The high effectiveness of the howitzer was confirmed. Then the B-4 was nicknamed Stalin Sledgehammer, this was how the White Finnians nicknamed the gun. The gun also discovered a useful, undocumented feature, effective direct fire. This mode was first used by Captain Vedmedenko of the Guards, who was awarded the title of hero of the USSR for it. With the same mode, the B-4 effectively destroyed the heaviest self-propelled machines of the Wehrmacht, the lauded Ferdinands. During the Battle of Kursk Bulge a heavily armored German tank fighter, hit by a 100kg landmine of Kvalda, was blown to pieces. The main job of the B-4 was to process, from closed positions the fortifications of the enemy. Fortunately the design and separate loading made it possible to throw the shells at very different distances. However, direct aiming was not forgotten either. When storming cities, especially German cities, sledgehammers often became a decisive argument in destroying heavily fortified buildings and structures. The enemy was pinned to the ground with hurricane fire, preventing him from shooting back. During a rampart of fire, the sledgehammer was brought within direct fire range. One or two howitzer shots were enough to destroy any fortification. 